I want to talk about ISO just a little bit, where it came from, what it is. When film was put together, we had to have a way to measure it. It was called American Standards Association. Today, we've used that same principle. We just call it ISO, International Standards Organization. And it's, it's come from film, and now it applies to digital camera the same way. What I want you to keep in mind that when the ISO is very high, the picture quality degrades some degree. Now that's changing a lot. Some of the remarkable changes that are taking place in cameras today in the digital world is ISO. When I was shooting pictures as a kid, the highest ISO you could ever find was 1600. I don't even know where it goes to today. Every time I turn around, it's 3200, 6400, 12,000, 25,000, 50,000. There's been a lot of increases taking place here. Quality is getting better. But what you want to remember when the number is high, it's only really good for low light. If you use it in daylight, you could have adverse effects. When the number is really high, the quality of the image generally goes down. It may look good to you on the computer screen, but when you print it, not so good. There's a relationship between the ISO, the shutter speed, and the f-stop. When you can't get the shutter speed that you need, you generally increase the ISO. If your f-stop is giving you a problem, you have the lens wide open, you still can't get the shot, increase your ISO. But remember that the lower ISOs of 100 and 200 are generally reserved for daylight photography and with flash. 400 to 800, that's really good for mid-light, late day, but when you get into low light, you're usually going to be 1600 or above. Don't forget to reset it when you go to regular photography. ISO is incredible. In the film days, we could only use one roll of film for one event, 1600, low light. And if you went to daylight and you had 1600, you might have to change it out. You went to a museum, you'd have to go back to 1600. But today with digital cameras, you can use one ISO for one shot. The next ISO can be totally different. Practice with it, change it up, look at the quality, think about printing it. Good luck with the ISO.